Melbourne for the first Grand Prix of the season. Time to hear from the top three of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what an absolute die Leuchte hier unten bringen direkt um auf die Größe von den Unterhaltskammer. So morning, 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 as you can tell, I've just woken up and got ready to go. It's about, times it's about 8 o'clock in the morning here in Leerstal in Germany. Yeah, this is Leerstal, tiny little town. What are we talking, 15 kilometres from the Nürburgring? I'm a bit bleary-eyed because we had, we tried to do a bit too much last night, I think. We went straight up to the Nürburgring, swapped in our tickets for our armbands for the 24-hour race. Sweet. So that means we just show these at the gate now for the next four days and we can go in any of the grandstands that we want to, right into the pits, into the main grandstand. Anybody who's coming here for a 24 hour race, if you've been here for a VLN race, uh, you can just walk straight into any of the corners without any uh, any gates or barriers. It's a bit different with the 24 hour race, it's a proper event, it's you know fully set up with uh, security and guard marshal towers at all the entrances. So without a ticket you can't actually go to any of the corners that you might have gone to on a VLN race. You know, if you've come down here to, to go to the Nürburgring for a trip, then normally if a VLN is on, you know, like we used to do in the past, you just walk up to corner one or whatever it is, bowl straight in there and start watching the VLN. Unfortunately, because the 24 hour race is such a big affair, and we'll show you some more of that when we get up there later on today and tomorrow, it's uh, it's all ticketed, so you must buy tickets before you go to any of the grandstands. You're going to end up being disappointed and having to go back to uh, Motorsport Boulevard or whatever it's called to buy some tickets. We got up there last night and watched a little bit of qualifying for the classic race which had 911s and 190e Mercedes and E30 BMWs. What, M1? M1, yeah there was an M1 BMW wasn't there? That was awesome seeing that go around, pretty bloody quick thing actually. Then we watched uh, three laps of the World Touring Car Championship race, they do three races I think throughout the weekend, they did one of them last night. Also good fun but there's only a small pack of them. So you get a little spurt of them going past you and then you've got to wait nine minutes for them to come back around again. And then after that we watched about 45 minutes of the one of the qualifying races for the 24 hour race on Saturday, which is just amazing seeing all these cars go around, the BMW M6, the Black Falcon AMG, glowing exhausts as the sun starts to go down, spitting flames out the back. It's why we've come here, there's nothing quite like it. So today we do a bit of shopping, we've been absolute idiots, Natalie and I. And we have forgotten our camping chairs. So we need to hunt down some camping chairs today and then we'll head back up to the racetrack and show you a little bit of what the racetrack looks like on the Friday. So this is the Friday. Today I believe we've got the classic race later on this evening and a lot of other content that comes up. We might even put yeah, maybe a screenshot of the, the actual yeah. schedule into this video to give you an idea what so happens. It, yeah, it's crammed in guys. So what you've got to remember is when you come down here for this race, you're not just coming for one race, you're coming for four days of motoring mayhem with a lot of local Germans, you know, I have to be honest, it's more a local German thing than it is a foreigner thing. And they know how to party, you know, they spend those four or five days at least by the side of the Nürburgring, enjoying themselves, drinking beer, eating bratwurst and buying merchandise. It's awesome to see, it's real good fun. Families, lads, the whole lot. So I think the whole troop is up now, we'll get started and we'll get our day going and then we'll show you a bit more of what the track looks like when we get up there later. Sweet. So this is why we come here. This is Friday, a little bit later. We're currently on the opposite side of the track from Flugplatz. We're going to walk up there now. Check it out. That's the sort of thing you get to look at. It's absolutely brilliant. You get nice folks, you get good meat and good sausages. And you get, uh, you get lovely walks in the forest. It's an absolutely beautiful day. We're lucky today, weather's nice. You can see TV cameras on the track just up there. And what you can hear is the classic 24-hour race, mid-race, on its way to uh, 
the end at one o'clock, is it? Yeah. There we go. So I'll get out to Flugplatz and we'll show you what it looks like up there. Flats, which looks like this. Middle of the historic race, lots of nice sounding cars going past. And it's a good day. So this is it. After a couple of days of flapping around, we're here. Now we're going 24 hour World Touring Car Championship. Cars are going around right now, just being past us. Have a look at the view. Nothing like this sort of thing. We'll give it a few minutes until the racing starts and then we'll uh, show you what that looks like. Drifters, yeah. This is Steve the Beetle. His name is Steve. Now we're racing. Here we go. 24 hours now we're going. This is the beginning. Mm-hmm. 
We are just approaching half past nine now. And we're at about quarter distance. And it's getting and it's getting dark. So this is what the Nurburgring 24 hours looks like at night. You can see just about over there in the distance. We've got some cars coming through the trees there. That's coming down from Plants Garden, I think. To Shrubbins. and then up here to the Kleiner Carousel. So now the spectacle of the nighttime driving really begins. So this is the 
the grandstand at quarter to one in the morning and you can see there's still quite a few people here because there's still a race going on and you can see full pits a TV screen down the end which has got the race on it and the car's coming down the main straight, the Grand Prix straight we're knackered but we're going to keep going So it is currently 3.01 in the morning, we're absolutely knackered, as you can see we're ponchoed up for the match, we look ridiculous and I think we're done for the night. As much as we wanted to stay for the 24 hours, the rain does definitely take its toll and it's not very warm tonight, so we're going to leave the mad bastards to go driving around in the rain throughout the night uh, and we're going to go and get some sleep back in Leerstal.
after 24 hours of racing, we stand here at the what we call the first corner. It's the easiest one to get to from Nuremberg. And the race is going to end up in this crazy fog that you can see all around me. With the Manti Racing second car, Porsche, um, in the lead, being followed by Black Falcons, I think second car, AMG GTR, and it's probably only 15 seconds in it. It would have been different, but there was a stoppage about an hour ago because of this fog. So that allowed the Manti Racing Porsche to catch up, where it had just just fallen behind because of a time penalty I had to stand with and they're now leading so it's been crazy we have had some sleep it is still raining here but not as hard as it was last night there you go 24 hours in Nuremberg ring far far wetter than last year love this car basically done I suppose that's it from us for the Nuremberg ring 24 hours it's a mad one. Thanks for watching, guys. Pay more out.